uh, Nanzo, what are all these features you've been posting about AppSmith recently and why don't I have access to them? What features? Oh, you know, the custom branding, the audit logs, and the unlimited Git repos. Oh, I see. Have you upgraded to the business edition of AppSmith yet? Because it has all the features that you're talking about and so much more. Upgrading is a breeze. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up? Nanza here. I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade from the community edition of AppSmith to the business edition of AppSmith, specifically using Docker. Now, having said that, this upgrade can actually also be done using Kubernetes, and while we're not going to be diving into how to do the upgrade with Kubernetes in this video, I put a link in the description below showing you how to get started. Now, if you also want to follow along, head over to customer.appsmith.com and we'll meet you over there. So we're over here at customer.appsmith.com and this is also known as the customer portal. This is where we're going to be generating our license key, which is actually needed to sign us into the business edition of AppSmith. Now, it's important to note that in order to properly sign into the business edition of AppSmith, we have to be running our own self-hosted instance of AppSmith, and we do that using Docker. The customer portal actually does provide you a way to download the Docker image or actually a Docker Compose file that you can use in order to create an instance of AppSmith running inside a Docker container. Now, you can download it through this link here or by running this curl command, which actually downloads and pulls the image and then runs the container for you when you type in the command docker compose up. Now, if you already have a Docker image installed and you just want to do the upgrade process, what you'd have to do is first back up the Docker community edition that you already have, and then change one thing. With the community edition of AppSmith inside a Docker container, the Docker file actually has this image which specifies appsmith-ce. This denotes the community edition, but if we wanted to upgrade to the business edition of AppSmith, we would have to change that image to appsmith-ee. EE -E denotes the business edition of AppSmith. We can see it here where it has index.docker.io slash appsmith-ee. Running the Docker Compose up will actually pull a new image and then run that Docker container and then we'll be taken into the business edition of AppSmith that's running inside the Docker container. Now, just walking over it here, in the, biz, in the community edition of AppSmith, when you actually download that image, you can see that it will have the image and it has the CE portion here. Now, in order to change it to the business edition of AppSmith, we simply have to change it to the EE, which denotes the business edition. And then we can run the Docker Compose up command, um, but I'm not gonna do it here because we actually do already have a running business edition edition running in our browser. Now, going back to the browser, we can see that we are in the business edition of AppSmith. It's going to be asking you for your license key the very first time you actually run this container. So once you activate your instance, you're going to be taken into the business edition of AppSmith where you have all the business features. And it's really cool, really easy to upgrade, and we hope to see you soon. This is really awesome because now we have the ability to upgrade from the community edition of AppSmith to the business edition of AppSmith, and it gives us the ability to use those business features that we were speaking about earlier. Now, one of those features being custom branding, and if you want to take a look at how we can use or create custom branding within our AppSmith app, take a look at this video that we've linked down below, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.